All right, today's video is a big question. Is fall the time that we should be fishing shallow water? I know the past few big fish I've caught, which were at the end of summer going into fall, were caught in shallow water. So I'm trying an area here that's a mix of everything. I've got shallow water, I've got a old creek channel, I've got a 30 foot hole in the creek channel, and I've got more shallow water. So it's pretty much a combination of everything right here. I would consider this area mostly shallow. So if there's any fish in the deep hole, they're going to come out into the shallow to grab my bait. Now like any spot, I'm going to give this 30 to 45 minutes, and then I'm going to move to an even shallower area to see if I can catch a fish during the day. Now all I have are small skipjacks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut up a couple of these and make them small chunk bait, and then I'm going to cut one in half and put two big chunks out and see what bites what. So I'm going to get some rods in the water and hope I catch a big one. Let's get the half skipjack pieces out first. I'm actually going to aim them towards that hole too. If I can, I got trees behind me. That went down pretty far, so I think I hit it. The other half. Now for the smaller pieces. Alright, all the fresh skipjack is out, let the timer begin. I'm going to give this 45 minutes before I move. Let's see if I catch something. Alright, it's been just over 45 minutes. Yep, yep. So I'm going to move. I'm actually losing cloud cover. we got bluebird skies replacing the clouds. So that might impact the fishing a little bit. But I'm going to move to shallower water. All right, I've moved to a much shallower spot and I've put out fresh bait again. What I have behind me is a bottleneck. There's a railroad bridge and it's the only entrance and exit to this whole backwater area here. Now I have noticed one problem. I don't see any bait around here and I don't see any birds. So it's quite possible the fish aren't here. I'm going to fish here and find out if there is anything here. Whoa! 
man. Taking the drag. Right after the train went by. It's gotta be good fish. Oh yeah. Give him some drag before he breaks the line. I think this is the smallest piece I put out too. Wow. Shallow water keeps paying off for me. If I can get this guy in, it's pulling the boat. <laughs> this is decent fish. Probably 25 pounder. Ooh, he's barely hooked too. Oh, I might lose this fish. I'm gonna have to be really careful. He is barely hooked. Oh, whoa! Oh. And got a shower. Look at that. Barely hooked right on the outside. This is what I came out here for. Nice fish. Nice blue cat. It's probably 17, 18 pounds. I'll weigh them real quick. 16 pounds. A little bit smaller than I thought he was. Still a really good fish. I'm going to let him go so he can grow up to be a bigger fish. Quick release. All right. I was afraid this now bluebird skies would turn the fish off, but apparently it didn't turn that fish off. That was a good fish that definitely made my day. I'm going to cut myself another small piece and put it right back out there. The piece was like this, a small tail piece that was on that rod. All right, the sun is going down and I am losing light fast. So I think I'm gonna reel all these up and head back to the ramp now. This was definitely a successful fishing trip even though I only caught one fish. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. And I'm really happy that we got cooler weather now. Now I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. And if you would do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up if you like my video. Thank you again for watching.